Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to install the remote SSH extension in VS Code, which will allow VS Code to open a remote terminal in our VM. And then we're going to take a look at the configuration scripts we're going to use to insert the VM host information, such as the IP address, into our SSH config file that VS Code uses to connect to those instances. So, let's get started. So first up, I'm going to click on extensions here, and I'm going to type remote SSH, just like so, and I'm going to click install. All right, that is all installed for me, perfect. So then let's take a quick look at it. Let's open the command palette, and as you can see, mine's already there, but you can also start typing remote SSH. And just to see how things work, if you click on add new SSH host, and let's just say SSH admin at admin.com or whatever, let's go ahead and hit enter. You can see you've actually got options potentially to configure different files. Go ahead and click on this first one. We want this location to be within our SSH directory. So click on that. And if you open the config, you can see I've actually got a lot here. You can see the format we're looking at. We're looking at a host, host name, user, and identity file, just like so. So what we're going to want to do is extract that information from our instance and insert it into this configuration file. So let's take a look at how our script is going to do that. Let's go ahead and create a new file. And depending on which operating system you're using, let's go ahead and create the file necessary. So since I'm on Windows, I will use windows-ssh-script.tpl, just like so. And within that file, I'm going to copy in the script you can find in the course resources. So what this is going to do is add the host, hostname, user, and identity file to that file that we specified. Now, as you can see, you've got this interpolation syntax here, and what this is doing is essentially dictating that these are variables. And those variables will be passed in using the template file function, which we're going to cover very, very soon. So go ahead and save that. And then I'm also going to create the Linux one so you can see that. So Linux SSH script. .tpl. And of course, this also works for Mac as well. So the Linux script is just like this. You're basically catting in the same type of stuff to our SSH config location. All right. So perfect. So now we see exactly what's going to be used to add the information to that script. We've seen the script and we've installed our SSH extension. So coming up, we're going to start prepping our code to add this information so that we can connect to our host using VS Code. So go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.